Our last story for the day, Amazon censors killing free speech documentary about censorship. Amazon has removed the first part of Killing Free Speech, a documentary about the threats of freedom of expression posed by Antifa and its allies in the media and Democrat parties. The second part of the documentary focused on the power of big tech will shortly be released. This is the second time that the documentary's creator, independent Danish-American conservative filmmaker Michael Hansen, has been censored by Amazon. As Breitbart News reported last year, Hansen's Previous documentary about mass migration in Islam in Europe was also censored by the big tech platform. From an email by Amazon to Hansen, hello, thank you for your email regarding Killing Free Speech Part 1 upon review. Your title is not eligible for publishing at this time. No further action by you is required. And I, hey, you know, while I'm punching you in the face, let me remind you, no further action by you is required. Hey, imagine hearing that from a mugger on the street. Give me your wallet. Okay, cool. I take your wallet. By the way, thank you for participating in this mugging. No further action is required by you. Have a nice day. Please do not resubmit the same title for publishing. In the meantime, we will provide any publication status updates in your provider portal. Thank you for using Prime Video Direct. Uh, they're still both available for purchase on Vimeo. Killing Free Speech Part 1 shows an official from the Council on American-Islamic Re Relations uh, care caught on camera admitting that women don't have equal rights under Sharia law. The documentary also charts the rise of Antifa in the United States, highlighting how the American movement has been influenced by violent mil militants in Europe. Part 2, which features an interview with this reporter about tech censorship, has received pra uh, praise from Border Patrol agents, and that would be Alam Bukhari, who wrote this piece, Kill, quote, killing free speech gave us a voice and an opportunity to speak the truth. And it is a powerful state testament to the men and women of the Border Patrol who risk their lives every day. According to Terrence Shegg, National Border Patrol Council, local 1613 president. Han Hansen's previous documentary about Islam in Europe has faced censorship in Canada when conservatives there attempted to hold a private viewing at a public library. Amazon, whose founder and CEO is far left Washington Post owner Jeff Bezos, has stepped up censorship in recent years. The platform removed prime video links to hoaxed Mike Cernovich's documentary about media manipulation, and also recently banned a book about the coronavirus from skeptical science writer Alex Berenson, only reversing the latter decision following media pressure. Now, why is this being censored? Well, let's say you live in a world of censorship where statists of left, right, and center stripes are all trying to censor anybody who disagrees with them. Not, not that uh, you, you, not people from all of those demographics are trying to censor people in, in different competing ideologies to theirs. And it seems like this documentary isn't really taking an honest look at your censorship as a whole. It's looking at particular censorship conducted by the you know left wing of the modern socialist paradigm as opposed to the right wing of the modern socialist paradigm, you know, as personified by the Republican Party and modern conservatives. So this is this is not like a uh you know, a real shift in, in censorship or, or freedom of speech or intellectual property or anything like that, because they're using, you know, partisan excuses here. And I just think it's a cool story to report on to say, yeah, look at the snake of political fallacies of, of, of left, right partisanship eating its own tail. <laughs>